Hello and welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Galaxy. In this series we provide the community a development update to keep players informed with what is happening on a bi-weekly basis. The team would like to wish our community a happy new year. We are looking forward to a fantastic year with our community with lots of exciting updates on the horizon. First let's start with a creative update. The creative team have been incredibly busy throughout the new year working on a variety of projects. We announced in the last episode of this update series that we were making progress establishing the five civilizations that players are going to be able to join using their wallet addresses, which will give players a variety of benefits in the later game. Recently, the creative team have been working on finishing the designs and lore for all five civilizations. The team have recently finished designs for the Irisians, Salvagers and Cyborgs, with the Raiders and Sphinx civilizations left to finish. Once these civilizations are finished, the next step will be creating these civilizations in-game and establishing their presence first on the Black Eye Galaxy star map. On the similar lines, the creative team are also working specifically on some character storylines for characters featured in each civilization to add more depth and immersion for players. The creative team have also started working on some profile customization, including creating avatars, banners, background images and badges that players can assign on their profiles. This will be interesting for players once leaderboards and further integration of player profiles is made to the web-based and 3D game. The player's choice of civilization will also be featured on the player profile. The player profile will be an important implementation once the in-game credits are introduced, which will offer a full range of off-chain interactions between players and the game. The creative team have also been working on improvements to the marketplace, trying to improve the appearance of swim lane items as shown in the image on the screen. Outside of these tasks discussed, the creative team are also working on a variety of other tasks including the creation of the official Black Eye Galaxy trailer, creating an in-game wallet to track earnings, creating a design for the in-game lottery system, creating an official Black Eye Galaxy mascot AI that will be featured and used on the website with possible further interactive integration for players, and the creative team are also working on cosmetics and designs for spaceships including the MK2 Asteroid Hunter series and the special MK2 Asteroid Hunter. Now let's move on to an update for the 3D racing game being developed and anticipated for Q1 of 2022. Our team have hired two extra 3D game developers to work on the Black Eye Galaxy racing game, increasing the size of the team. The 3D game developers are currently working on creating a home and multiplayer menu for players. Players will be able to customise their racing spaceships with cosmetics on the main menu through a hangar or garage view. The 3D game developers are also working on implementing the wallet authentication to the game that allows players to bridge their wallets to the game which connects their Black Eye Galaxy game account. The team are also working on creating a training menu which will explain how to play the racing game and earn the BYG token through competing. One major accomplishment this week has been establishing and fleshing out the multiplayer gameplay. Our lobbies can now hold a maximum of 32 players each, which will enable scalability in the future. For the time being, and upon release, lobbies will hold a maximum of 10 players per race. Now that the multiplayer has nearly finished completion, this means that the team can continue to flesh out the design and in-game mechanics. Now let's move on to an update on web development and design. Our web development team are primarily focusing on the development of the MK2 Asteroid Hunter, the reputation system and a backlog of bugs and suggestions posted and given to us by the community. Due to the increasing workload for our current web devs, we have recently hired another web developer to work with us full time so that we can increase our development output. One addition to the website that we would like to discuss in this video is the addition of the Utilize Salvage and Salvage Team level labels that have been added to Salvage Teams sold as resale items on the marketplace. This was implemented due to the growing importance of emphasizing that each resale Salvage Team is inherently different and depending on this information it could alter the purchase decision for the player. We wanted players to have the information available to them on the marketplace for the salvage team resales so that players did not accidentally purchase a salvage team without the proper information. If you are considering purchasing a salvage team spaceship on the marketplace please take in mind the utilized capacity and also the level of the spaceship. Now let's move on to an update on the website redesign. We would like to share with you some UI mockups that were made in the very early stages when exploring options for buttons across the website. 
Of course, we want to make sure that you're aware that these are all just mock-ups made to give us, the team, more ideas. They are subject to change and already have been developed upon over the past two weeks. We are looking forward to showing you more updates on this in the next update episode. Nevertheless, hopefully this gives you a feel for the progress being made on redesigning the website. In other news, we recently released our new ambitious roadmap for quarters 1, 2 and 3 for 2022. This roadmap can be followed on our new gitbook that has recently been developed to provide a better experience for new and interested players, as well as to act as an information hub for existing players. In our new gitbook you can find an abundance of information on Black Eye Galaxy, including guides, economics and tokenomics, more information concerning the team, and also more information on in-game assets, and also an important disclaimer which all players should take some time to read through. A link to our gitbook can be found in the description below this video and in the comments section. Go and check it out and give it a read and give us some feedback and tell us what you think. The best place to provide feedback and suggestions to the team is on our Discord server. This is where players can actively follow the progression of their suggestions through the consideration and implementation phase. Lastly, the creation of the Bounty Hunter Star Alliance and membership cards mean that these cards are now ready to be rewarded to deserving players within our community. There are a limited number of these cards available, so the rewarding process will likely span the lifetime of Black Eye Galaxy. Players should read through the Black Eye Galaxy Gitbook to learn more about how they can work towards being rewarded one of these cards. That is it for this week's development update. We hope you enjoyed the video and are looking forward to a range of developments that are currently being worked on. We'd like to know what you're most looking forward to from this video. Is it Civilizations or the website redesign or something else? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode of Beyond the Galaxy.